So we've got a new study coming out of Iceland that confirms what I thought was pretty obvious already, and it basically concludes that there are a plethora of benefits to having a four-day work week. And to that I say, yeah, makes sense. Because if you allow people to have more time to live their lives, to travel, to spend time with their family, of course, you know, if they have a better homework balance, their lives are going to be better and more fulfilling. So I love this study because I think that it further confirms that in the fight for worker rights, in the fight for unionization, we have to make a four-day work week equally important. Like we have to to elevate the salience of this issue because it's not enough to have a living wage. It's also important to make sure that you're not being worked to death. You still have to be able to embrace the human part of life where you you aren't waking up most days and going to a place that you usually hate. But let's get to the study. So as Mary Poppenfuss of HuffPost reports, four-day workweek trials in Iceland were deemed an overwhelming success by researchers in a new report. Worker well-being dramatically increased across a range of indicators from perceived stress and burnout to health and work-life balance, the report released Sunday stated. At the same time, productivity and service provision remained the same or improved across the majority of trial workplaces. Trials have shown that shortening working hours can have a powerful positive effect, the report concluded. The study conducted by the Association for Sustainable Democracy in Iceland and the UK-based think tank Autonomy studied 2,500 workers, about 1% of Iceland's working population, in two major trials between 2015 and 2019. The trials not only aimed to improve work-life balance, but also to maintain or increase productivity, noted the report. There was no cut in pay for the reduced weeks of 35 to 36 hours a week. The trials included a variety of workplaces from traditional offices to preschools and hospitals in nine to five jobs as well as in non-traditional shifts. They were launched by Reykjavik City Council and the Icelandic national government in response to shorter work week campaigns by unions and social organizations. The report also noted that 86% of Iceland's workers were now either working fewer hours or gaining the right to shorten their hours. The study could function as a blueprint for future trials in other countries, the researchers noted. Yeah, so I mean, this is huge, and it's not the first study to come to this conclusion. There was also a study out of Japan with uh, a Microsoft facility, I believe, and it basically also stated that, yeah, there were a lot of benefits to decreasing the amount of work days from five to four. Listen, we live in a society that is, we live in a society, folks. No, we live in a society where the culture encourages us to basically work ourselves to death. I mean, I'm sure you've had a conversation with someone who bragged about how hard of a worker they are. And that's great. Like, I mean, valuing good work, that's, that's a good thing, right? But on top of that, I think that we also have to normalize being human beings. If we work less, that's good too. In fact, that's something that we should strive to do more of. I mean, we're such an overworked society. Maybe that's why all of us Americans are fucking pricks. Like, we have to be able to indulge a little bit. If we want to have a day where we sit back and we just fucking watch, you know, 90 Day Fiance, that's not a bad thing. If we want to play video games, if we want to travel, if we want to just enjoy life, that is a good thing. Sure, of course, working hard is important for human beings. No society is going to be devoid of work, even if we have some sort of socialist utopia. Obviously, work is an integral part of the human experience, but we have to find the right balance, folks. And five days a week is too much. It's too much. And you almost become robotic. Like as someone who was working two part-time jobs, so basically full-time, and going to school, You eventually become so accustomed to it that you don't even think about like a vacation. You just kind of go through the motions and you you just keep going and going and going. And you don't even take the time to think about what it might be like to have a day off. And we all kind of have been there. We've all been conditioned to think that this is a good thing. The fact that I'm working myself uh, so hard is a really great thing. It's it's a valuable. It speaks to, you know, um, me as a human being. I'm just, I'm a... I'm a hard worker. I'm a a good person. Whatever the fuck. It's just, we can't keep having this mentality, folks. We can't. We need to actually allow ourselves 
the ability to thrive and working five days a week so that way the overwhelming majority of the days that we wake up, we're going to have to go to a job that we fucking loathe with people we despise. That's just not healthy. If we want to do art, if we want to take walks, we should have more time to do that. We should be able to explore our creativities because human beings are on this rock for such a small amount of time. Such a small amount of time. And how much of that time are we completely miserable? How much of that time are we thinking, oh my God, I just want to find another job because this job is really terrible. It makes me depressed. It stresses me out. The people who I work with are terrible. I mean, and then you get to that new job because thank God you found a new job and it's just more misery. I mean, to work is essentially to be, you know, uh, miserable. It's not like, you know, e even if you find a job that you like, everything is going to be PG keen. The point is that we haven't allowed ourselves of setting a good balance between work and home life. And it's just work, 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 work. And, you know, on the weekends, we take that time off and by the time Monday hits, we're barely even recovered. And we have to shift our thinking because I think it's also a value to be able to take time off. It's something that we should strive for. Not only to have three or four day work weeks, but to take vacations each year. Because again, folks, life is short.